Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to What's going on everybody? This man Chris Thorns. As always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you watch my content. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I got a story I want to share with you real quick. I was going to go live about this, but I said, nah, you know, I ain't in the mood to go live. So I'll just do a video. But if there's any updates, anything that comes up with this story, then maybe I'll go live later on. Um, but just for now, I'm just going to do a news video for y'all. So here's what we're going to be talking about right here to get the bottom. We're going to talk about this right here. And we're going to talk about the people who's all involved in this story. You have a woman in Baltimore uh, who was shot and killed. She was pregnant. And not only she was shot and killed, uh, her three-year-old was shot and killed as well. So he, here's here are the individuals that's involved in it. You have, uh, let me see if I got a name right. 23-year-old Cheyenne Miller. Cheyenne Miller was uh, 23 years old. And the next person up is her precious baby. Her precious baby name is Shania Gilmore, which was three years old. How sad is that? Three years old. You killed a three-year-old. And a corporate who's behind all of this is this guy right here. I don't know if it's Devon sample or is it or is it Devon sample? I'll hear it in the news clip that I'm about to play out in a minute. But the man that you see down here is the one allegedly responsible for killing this mother that was pregnant and her child. And what I learned from the story, he was the father of the unborn child that was in her stomach. Now you had to ask yourself. What the hell could happen so bad that a person would do this? But then again, it's the era that we're living in now. We don't believe in talking things out anymore. We believe in taking out guns and killing people, or we believe in fighting. You know, y'all know how it goes. You know, this ain't nothing new. It ain't nothing new at all. Just so y'all heard me did the interview with uh, Tia Kara's mom, you know? Uh, fighting is long gone. You know, you step in my shoes, you get shot. That's pretty much how it is now. You step on my shoes, you get shot. And so on, and so on. So without further ado, guys, let me uh, move them. Let me move them real quick. And uh, let's bring up the news and let y'all hear what the news has to say. Neighbors say they heard gunshots early Friday morning. My daughter came into my room and was like, Ma, something's going on outside. I heard something. And I was like, what was it? She was like, sound like gunshots. But it wasn't until later in the day, just before noon, when cops were outside of their homes investigating a double murder. The bodies of Cheyenne Miller, who was eight months pregnant, and her three-year-old daughter, Shania, were found in a car on Boswell Road. And like, miss, 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 she didn't respond. Family members now left shaken and in disbelief. Uh, it's anger and rage that somebody would do this to a child. Police making an arrest soon after. Now this man, Devon Sample, sits behind bars charged with their murders. Police say he's the father of Miller's unborn child. To the young men out here, you, you don't own these young women. You don't. It comes as Baltimore City Council President and Democratic mayoral candidate Brandon Scott supports a budget proposal to defund BPD by $22 million. They weren't cuts to patrol. They weren't cuts to detectives. They were cuts to unallocated funds that you could essentially call slush funds that were just sitting in the budget. While praising the detectives in the case, Scott says it isn't about getting rid of the police force. Instead, using the available funds in underserved communities to help those before things turn violent. We're talking about how we can reimagine public safety so that we get to some of these issues like this tragedy before they get to this point. And police say while they've made an arrest, they still need the public's help. They're asking for any neighbors with any information such as surveillance video to come forward. Live downtown, I'm Trey Ward, WBAL-TV 11 News. All right.
right, guys. Um, that is the news clip. Uh, this thing for play some again. So let me see if I can catch it before it does. All right, let me do this. Let me put my music back on. Um, and I hope the music ain't too loud. You know, uh, it's been a while since I've done a video with music, but this music is kind of helping me clear my head on this one so I can try to find the words to say. So if it's too loud, I do apologize, you know, because uh, this, this is a good mic and it gets a lot of surround sounds, you know, so... I hope it's not too loud, but um, anyway, it ain't even about the music. Let's get into what's really going on here. The first thing I'm paying attention to is the age now, you know, uh, and the reason I say that because, you know, the young generation now, the young generation now, and okay, oh, let me see if I do something about these notifications, hold on. Let me see if I can do something. All right. Hopefully they fixed it. Oh, but anyway, I want to bring this up because you know, uh, again, this is the the era that we in now. The generation of these youngins that don't know how to handle pressure, or don't know how to, I guess, handle neglect, or don't know how to handle you know the rough ends of the world. And in a sense, I understand because we all was young once as well. Shit, I'm 40 years old, so I'm long past 24. I'm long past 23. I'm long past three years old, but you can't blame the baby for any of this because she was just an innocent person that just got caught up in the mix. And I'm reading in a minute if they got any information what's going on. And if y'all know the real story what went on, please don't hesitate to hit me up. Family members or friends or anything. Do not be afraid to hit me up and talk to me and let me know what the hell is going on with this because uh, it's, all, it's always it's a motherfucking ridiculous that this shit has to happen. But again, you, this young generation just can't handle the pressures of the world. And it gets to them so bad that, you know, this is one way that they feel like this solved a problem is to shoot somebody and kill them. But now, this is where the twist and turn come in. They killing their own seeds that they helped create. This man killed this woman and pretty much his child that she was carrying. Now, again, before I get into this news clip, I'm in the mindset now, what could this young lady have done or probably said so bad to him that he turned around and did this? I'm going to figure out to read right now and see what it says. It says, Baltimore police arrested a man in connection with the fatal shootings of a pregnant mother and her toddler. Devon Sample, 24, you know what? Let me pause that. Devon Sample, 24, of Baltimore has been charged with first to be murder in connection with the killings of she Cheyenne Miller, 23, and Shania Gilmore, Three. That is so sad. The baby. Mm. Both of uh, Windsor, Windsor, Windsor Mill. I guess that's what it says. Um, police said Sample was taken into custody shortly after Miller's and Gilmore's body were found just before noon Friday in the 200 block of Boswell Road. The grandfather of the toddler opened up to 11 News Friday afternoon saying it's real hurtful because the baby girl Shania that's my daughter's heart her granddaughter she had every weekend so this is a this is real hurtful I can't stop her from crying you know that was her reason for keeping on family said Miller was eight months pregnant police said sample was the father of the unborn child sample was ordered Monday to be held without bail this is a tragic situation where the family and friends are left suffering, are left suffering and mourning the loss of loved ones. I want to commend the hard work of our dedicated homicide detectives for quickly apprehending the suspect for this despicable act of violence. 
I go on to pray that family and friends of the victims in our city can begin the healing process. Commissioner Michael Harrison said in a statement, an investigation continues. Detectives are still seeking assistance from residents to check for video and or recall if they heard or saw anything suspicious. Additionally, detectives are asking that anyone who may have driven through the 200 block of Boston Road at around 11 p.m. Thursday to call 410-396-2100. Again, the number is 410-396-2100. Well, right now, for what I'm reading this, it's not saying what took place or why did he do it. You know, but however, something down here is uh, catching my attention. It says something about court record, police locate surveillance video. Hmm, let's see what they say right here. What are they saying right here? I have lost my daughter, my grandchildren. Family and friends over the weekend, remembering Cheyenne Miller, her unborn child, and her three-year-old daughter, Shania Gilmore. Today, homicide detectives and police trainees searched the wooded area near the crime scene for evidence. Major Martin Bartness posted these pictures on Twitter. Meanwhile, the man charged with the murders, 24-year-old Devon Sample, appeared in court where he was denied bail. The judge saying she found clear and convincing evidence Sample posed a danger to the community. He's facing 16 counts, including first-degree murder and crime of violence against a pregnant person. In court, we learned Sample worked as a cryptocurrency investor. He considered little Shania his stepdaughter and told his public defender Cheyenne Miller, who was eight months pregnant, was his girlfriend and the mother of his unborn son, and he would never harm her or the unborn child. According to a court charging document, investigators believe Sample drove his own car and had Miller follow him to the 200 block of Boswell Avenue in southwest Baltimore. The court record indicates detectives located surveillance video from a nearby camera. Mm. From the video, it appears the occupant of the dark SUV then exits and stands at the driver's side of the gray sedan, then goes over to the passenger side. A muzzle flash is seen from within the victim's vehicle. A second muzzle flash is observed outside of the driver's side of the victim's vehicle. A third muzzle flash is observed outside of the driver's side. Sample admits being in the area and getting into Miller's car, but denies shooting the victims. According to the court record, Mr. Sample claims he got into his car, left the area, and never saw the victims again. Last year, Sample was charged with neglect involving the same little girl. Prosecutors dropped the case. Today in wow. court, he tried to talk about it. He said, quote, the girl snuck out, end quote. At that point, his defense attorney stepped in and advised him to remain silent. Reporting outside of District Court, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News. Jesus Christ. So not only that, um, for what we gather in here, Apparently, he must have babysit this child before, and he neglected his child. Um, um, mm. I have a question to that. Um, if that's true, that's what he did, he neglected it her little baby and the little baby got outside the house or however the case may be and it was proving it was because of his negligence then I have to ask you know um, when you with somebody that puts your child in danger like that you know what would make you want to stay with him or her I'm going to say him and her because you know some women that watch guys babies for them while they go to work and do some things like that and if we agree that you're going to watch the child, then the child is in your care. And you got to make sure that my child is safe at all times, at all costs. So, you know, if I see that you are being negligent with my child, you know, 
why I don't know if I can stay with you after that. But then again, I guess if you flip the other side of that coin, I guess you have to see, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, how much of a detriment, if, if, if I'm saying it right, how much of a detriment that it was, you know? And could it be just a, could it be possible, I guess could it be possibly an honest mistake or if it's safe to say that, I, and I'm saying it as far as this as an example, you know, when we think the child is asleep, you know, we take a little nap, you know, everybody sleep, the whole house is quiet. But you know, some of us are real heavy sleepers. So if we heavy sleepers, we won't hear nothing. And maybe the child did get out the house, you know? And if that is the case, you know, I think you still probably can't hold people accountable for that. But I guess on the other side of that, you gotta be like, okay, well, you know, of course you're gonna be tired, especially y'all been playing these at third, so you're gonna be tired. And you gonna you gonna you gonna want to take a little nap or something, so um, oh with that you know it's 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 quite a few ways you can look at it. I mean, because you can look at it like this too. Uh, let's just say if it's me, and they say Chris, you know, okay, I'm for the lead, you know, you are gonna watch her now. Be careful now because she will sneak out that door, or he will sneak out that door if you're not paying attention. Now you have been warned that the child will sneak out if you're not paying attention, then yeah, I guess you could say you 100% negligent on their part, you know? Uh, I, I don't know guys, you know, you know, like y'all know me, I, I just think all types of ways, up, down, left, right, up, left, down, right. I think about that because that's stuff that we really need to look at, you know, uh, how much, damn, I probably should've went live, you know, asking that question, I probably should've went live shit you know <sighs> guys i'm all over the place with this because it, it just it just stories like this just hurt it hurts you know um and, and it bothers you especially if you a content creator like i am you know shit like that gets to you gets to you sometimes and it, you will be all over the place and this story i'm just all over the place right now you know because i guess i'm trying to I guess I'm trying to put myself in that situation that had to be, that had to be me, you know, and I already neglected your child once. And then the next time this is what happens, you know, I guess I'm trying to put myself in that situation. And I guess that gets me all over the place right now, you know? Um, and the fact he's up there trying to lie now and they saying they got him on camera, you still try to lie, you know, that's another thing too. So, Again, so now I'm real curious as to why he done this, you know. So again, anybody y'all, any one of y'all who know of this story, or you know of families or whoever or friends, y'all ask them to get at me and they want to come on and talk more about this. You know, hey, I would love to get them their voice and get the real true story out there, you know. Uh, this is sad. So again, guys, uh, Cheyenne, 23, Shania, three years old, and this man right here, 24 years old. And um, this is happening too much now, guys. And this is happening too damn much right now. And it needs to stop. But it seems like that's more easier said. That's, that's more easier said than done. But anyway, guys, uh, as always, tell me what you think about this and let me know if I got anything wrong or if, if you know more about this story, please, 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 please. If y'all know how to get in contact with me personally, hey, holler at me about this and let me know everything that's going on. You know, this is another story that needs to get out. You know, I don't think it's getting much attention, you know, so I want to be one of the ones to bring attention to stuff like this. And I always to let y'all know, y'all please be careful who y'all let in y'all life. And be careful who y'all let in your children's life. Because it seems like this is a constant thing now, letting people into your life and shit like this happens. Amen. Amen. I'm your man, Chris Thorns. Thank you for tuning in to the 